What's going on YouTube? Saddle Tramp here. I just want to make a video showing you guys how I store tobacco in the truck. Here's my tote that I made dividers. This one here is a little, a little off. Need to get some more um, uh, mason jars here and fill it out the rest of the way. I'm already short a couple uh, for how many tobaccos and also keep my uh, you know, um, let's see, there's the bristle, regular, my snuff collection. And then here, I made one out of the box that uh, the tall ones came in. And, uh, you know, I always need room for pipes. Here I got uh, some Boveda packs. I use those to rehydrate uh, dry tobacco instead of using, um, you know, I've heard some people spraying distilled water. Uh, seeing a, these stack in here. Barons. This stuff uh, I'll be gifting or trading because I don't really like it. And this I did. It's not terrible. It's just really I just don't like it. Um, this I don't know. I think it's really fresh. I'll be cellaring that, uh, letting it sit for a while. This is my little caddy that I use. Um, this sits either on the floor next to me or in the passenger seat. Napkins, I use these wiping the bowls out. Um, bristle and regular. These, just some little padded things I made out of uh, paper towels. Just for when I'm driving, I can uh, just toss it in there and not get marred up or anything. Um, this is a really cheap one. I don't even think this is briar. Can't see it, but I just uh, tried out some pipe mud today. It's drying. Um, this is where the handle was. I took it out so I could hang my cobs in it. Uh, some butane, fresher, cigar matches, some more butane, my plate, these paper plates are perfect, I break up the tobacco on it, uh, pack it, and then I can fold it and put it right back in, and here, let's see, this little case, uh, matches, cutters, little uh, cigar clip I made. Um, when I smoke cigars, I used to smoke them down to a nub, down to nothing. Uh, so I'd do that so I wouldn't burn my fingers. I could smoke them down a little further. Uh, spare flints, torches, uh, pipe screens. I like using pipe screens on my cobs. And uh, that's about it for that. Now the cigars. This is... Uh, I don't know about ingenious, but I really thought this was a good idea. What I do, this is an Oliva Siri V uh, Milanio Robusto box, and it fits perfectly in a gallon Ziploc. And what I do is, I put them in here, of course. You take the false bottom out so you have more room. Um, these are cigar cellophanes where I took uh, cedar sheets out of a couple boxes from a shop. And... Um, put them inside, broke them up, put them inside these cigar cellophanes and then wrapped it up. Um, what would happen is if I, say I had this many cigars in here from the truck bouncing around so much, it uh, it would kind of damage, I'd get a damaged cracked foot or something like that. So this helps keep them from rolling around, helps keep different cigars separate. And um, then I use uh, one or two, right now I got two because I used to have three boxes. Uh, I don't smoke cigars as much anymore, so I got rid of the other two, and uh, I just run, got one box going now, and uh, so I got two 69 Boveda packs, close that up, and put it in the Ziploc, and it keeps the cigars perfect. Um, I was just keeping them in the box with a Boveda pack, but uh, I'd say, oh shit, I can't flip, hold on, let me see if I can flip this around. Well, damn it anyway. Okay, hold on, let me, uh... Let me get down here. Alrighty then. Yeah, I just want to show you guys uh, my ideas of how I decided to store my stuff. Um, you know, now this box, I'll take it, put the lid on it. I set my other box on top of it and it slides right under my bunk. And uh, there's an air vent down there and I've pretty much always got my air running. Um, you know, I like it, one, I, I don't like feeling too hot and um, 
keeping the cab cool helps you stay awake a little better, helps you stay more alert. And um, so there's a vent right under there for the bunk back here, and it blows right on the boxes and keeps my tobacco dark, cool, and uh, the jars keep it humid. Um, I've got a couple things I plan on. Uh, I think I'm just going to gift it to somebody. Maybe my, uh, uh, maybe one of my, my cousin-in-law, I guess it would be. Uh, I'm thinking maybe he might, I don't know, he might start to, to get into it. I'm going to try and see if he'll um, take an interest. I got some shitty news earlier, so I'm a little scattered right now. But uh, smoking my, uh, my barling poker with some pirate cake. Uh, my one order is already in Columbus, and the other one, I just got the email, it just got shipped today. So I'm really hoping it's there um, before I leave. And uh, I'm thinking about making another order and having it two-day shipping put on it because um, I'm really, really, where's it at here? I, uh, I don't know why. Like I say, when I first tried the, the pirate cake, I liked it. But the more I smoke it, the more I'm just like, wow. I would just, I'm, I really, really am falling in love with it. So I may, I may go ahead and order a pound of it. I try not to wear my glasses in videos. I don't really like, I hate wearing glasses. I just wear them to drive. Um, kind of a shitty day. And I was up all night driving. And then I got a shitty phone call. So, um, But yeah, I might order, I order at least a half a pound of it. Uh, at the rate I've been smoking it. Um, a half pound... It might, well, maybe I'll just get a half pound because I really need to smoke through some of the other stuff I got too. Or maybe I'll start gifting some of that stuff. I don't fucking know, man. Um, yeah, that's about it, I guess. Um, but yeah, anybody, if you, uh, I just never shelled out the money for a humidor. You know, it was buy a humidor or buy that many more cigars. So, I, I just always bought more cigars. You know what? I think I've had this thing tilted wrong. Let's hope not. Um, as I really don't feel like doing this again. Um, but yeah, with the cigars, it's always kept them perfect. Um, I've never had a problem. Other than them rolling around and, and the feet getting a little bit damaged. And then putting those space keepers in, those space holders in there. It's uh, it pretty much fixed that, so... Um, I'm in Pennsylvania. I made my delivery earlier. I uh, haven't gotten another load yet, but I just I just parked about an hour ago, and uh, my PTA is like two in the morning. So I'm gonna smoke this and uh, run inside and brush up and wash my face probably and go to bed. I'm tired and. I don't know. It's one of them days. It'd be all right, man. I get a night's sleep, and uh, I'll be right back on top tomorrow. I'll be feeling good tomorrow, so not really worried about it. You gotta stay positive, man. Shit's all good. It's just, uh, it's just life, you know. I'm not gonna waste a bunch of time feeling bad about shit and. You know, my thing with regret is um, if I wish I could go back and change something, I just don't do that again. I'm not going to waste time feeling bad about, I'm mostly just tired right now, that's why I'm being such a mope. Uh, I'm not going to waste time feeling bad about something that I can't go back and change. Uh, I can't, I can't make any of it different, I can't, you know, I can't change it. Why feel bad about it? Just don't do it again in the future. You know, that that's my form of regret. I just don't do it again. Um, 
So I showed you guys yeah, the caddy and um, the way I store my tobacco and um, oh well I get hold on let me see where we're at on time let me check this here I don't have the 10 minutes yeah we can all right sorry about that uh, this where is it Peter Stokeby's luxury navy flake I got uh, an ounce of this in Barclays in Columbus just to try it he's got it in bulk there and one flake of this is perfect so I like Virginia's out of my uh, cobs and uh, one flake of that is perfect for the legend. Oh, and I'm very excited. I ordered uh, some bits. This is a uh, Washington bent bit that I straightened and then messed with some more. I was trying to do something with the end to make it kind of go up on the roof of my mouth instead of straight out. And I mangled it. It looks like all hell. But I ordered 10 uh, the amber Danish bits. So um, I'll have plenty plenty of bits my pipe won't look all shitty anymore um, oh yeah but those flakes one of them is perfect just fold it up and stuff it down in there perfect size it smokes really good I didn't find out until after that they finish it with rum and I thought I wasn't gonna like it because I don't like aromatics but it's actually really good it's very subtle uh, it's not even as much as frog Morton cellar it's even less than that it's very very subtle uh, same thing with this. I didn't find out until later because it doesn't say anything about it. It says an easy smoking blend of fine Virginias and Burley tobaccos. Oh, shit, I read that wrong. Easy smoking blend of fine Virginia and Burley tobaccos made the traditional way. It doesn't say anything about flavoring, but I'm pretty sure it's got some kind of a dark fruit, plum, that kind of thing going for it. But like, you know, again, very, very subtle. And that kind of stuff's not bad, man, but... Uh, that first week of smoking pipe where I was smoking Captain Black really, really, it turned me off of air. Once I tried some English blends and some Virginia, like, it just, it made me never want to smoke aromatics again. I really don't ever care to try them again. Um, maybe, I'm sure someday I will. I'll be looking for something new and whatever, but I just, uh, I love, really love smoking English blends, so... Anyway, that's the way I store my stuff, and um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing, those of you who have done so. I really do appreciate that. Um, apparently, I can't message on my on my my phone on YouTube. So saddle underscore tramp underscore piper, hit me up on there. Uh, message me. I'll message you back. Um, I do get downtime. And, uh, you know, I don't talk to a whole lot of people, really. And I like it that way. I mean, I dig talking to you guys, but uh, in my personal life, uh, it's part of the reason I drive truck is I really, I just like to be left alone. Um, people get on my nerves a lot. Um, I wigged out on this guy at the fuel island today. Um, if I'm just running in, oh, hold on, let me fucking... Check where we are here. See if we can't do a, a part two. Yeah, fuck it. We're going to do part two. I'll be right back, guys. My fucking mouth.